Hi, welcome to a take with Ranshi and my name is Gajanand Rathor and today we understand and to write code to make fixed sidebar right so here is the live example to understand fixed sidebar right so when we scroll down right so this is the sidebar content right this is one container and this is the another container right so when we little bit uh, scroll down right so this is the fixed fixed now and when you scroll down its, its position is fixed right but the the content is still scrolling right it's here so if you have still any questions so you can understand this one as well right so here is only one sidebar container right so when we scroll here is not uh, another container of the sidebar uh, which is not fixed right and here is the fixed sidebar right you scroll up and you scroll down so this fixed sidebar contain a container as fixed right and this uh, this navbar is also fixed right and this sidebar is a fixed and bottom of uh, uh, all the contents we have a footer right it here so today we have to make this sidebar fixed sidebar right using jquery plugin which is stick kit right so we understand step by step to learn uh, this uh, fixed sidebar right so before starting uh, lesson you need to subscribe my channel uh, uh, to click it here right so let's start first we need to create a project right so I am currently in a same ST doc and we have a project which is PHP tutorial right so we need to break actually I have already created to save the time right so this is the project you need to create it here so let's break and drop in our code, code editor right whatever you are using just break and drop in your code editor right so here is PHP tutorial and let's open it right so I will show you uh, here as well so here is the index.php file so we need to break this file and drop inside in our code editor right so here is the lots of code but don't worry I will give you a link to download right so let's understand this is the bootstrap cdn file right if you don't know what is cdn and how we can attach this code to bootstrap um, for like this bootstrap 4 and just click on first link and here is the get getting started and here is the link which is this one just copy and paste it here right and this is my own CSS which I have attached this type just little bit zoom in right so this is my own CSS file which is style.css right so this file is here style.css I will show you in a minute and here is the simple header and footer right so this is the header here to here right uh, which is uh, you can see here this is the header logo home about us contact us and here is the search bar uh, you can get this from bootstrap examples right but don't worry about that I will give you a zip file uh, to download uh, this source code but to understand this is important which is uh, to learn sidebar right uh, so template is not important to learn this one is important right so here is the header which is this one right and uh, after that we have a main container which is the main here and we have a sidebar which is this one right which is row and this is the bootstrap class which is a call 3 which is column 3 and we have a sidebar and have a java php jquery css html node.js and mysql which is this one right there are the links in a sidebar right and after that we have a fixed sidebar which is this one fixed sidebar and have some content which is this one right so its ID is important right just remember that fixed sidebar right 
and after that we have a column 6 which is this one and have a lots of lower maybe some content which here latest news which is this one latest news and here is the lower maybe some content here 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 which we have a p tag which is paragraph and lots of content is here and this is the left right sidebar which is the maybe a add which is this one right so templating we have done and this is the footer content so let's let's uh, understand it so this is the footer and uh, some footer content here you can write a copyright uh find it here of your company right so template has done and we need to understand these things right so bottom of that i have a test jquery right using css so if you don't know about the jquery and bootstrap these three files are jquery and bootstrap cdn right so if you don't have right just go back in a bootstrap getting started right and here is the all the three files which is the uh, jquery files right and jquery bootstrap and anything just let's copy this and paste in your uh, code editor right like this just remove and paste it here right and here is my jquery sticky.js this file is important right it's very very important so jquery.sticky uh, sticky.js we need to download from github right so let's copy the name and paste it here right and click on the first link i will give you a link in a video description to download this plugin from github let's click it here and you will be here right and we need to download this js file which is here sticky.js right so we need to go to src which is here and here is the file which is jquery sticky.js let's click it here and here is the all the code so we need to download this click it click on a raw right and right click and save save us right and you can save anywhere in your computer right so let's uh, uh, download uh, in a desktop so let's save it so we need to copy this file right so let's uh, control x and this is the previous file so we need to delete and paste it here right simply uh, copy and paste in your project right so next thing what we want to do that this file we need to attach in our project right so this is the uh, script tag which we have uh, add or stick it or uh, jquery plugin uh, in our project right and the next important thing is create it uh, create script tag write it here right and here is uh, the very important thing which is the dollar sign which is uh, the id selector flex sidebar so this id is important right so this id we need to find which is we want to give this id to a fixed sidebar which is this one i will show you it here right so this is the fixed sidebar fixed sidebar uh, fixed sidebar and have the s3 uh, heading tag which is fixed sidebar right and hr which is this one hr right and this is the paragraph tag which is this one lower with some content right so i have a style it a little bit right but uh, don't think about that right so let's copy this id which is copy right and scroll down and here we need to select our id of our element right and the call the method which is stick it uh, from our jquery plugin which is here right and here we need to give us some property of our stick it right uh, plugin so minimum width right is 1280 right which is this one and top is 20 right so when we uh, uh, put it 100 replace of 20 so let's see what it happened right when when we scroll right so when we scroll right it's a uh, this content is its position uh, from top is 100 pixel right so if you put it 200 right and let's refre refresh and just go up and scroll down and you can see this container will 
be from uh, 200 from your header and from top of your page this is scroll down and it is 200 so our requirement in our website which is 70 to 80 per, uh, 80 pixel means when we scroll down this sidebar should be here so, so this uh, uh, it's a height of our header approximately uh, 70 to 80 pixel right so let's change it to 80 control s and refresh right so 80 is uh, it, it's not sufficient we, we need to uh, here this uh, sidebar so we need to press uh, put it 50 and let's refresh it's not still uh, look good so put it 20 and refresh right so it's look pretty good right and you can uh, put a, a many properties it here right so let's 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 understand it right so if your minimum uh, screen width is 768 right and screen max width is here as top is 20 right and top is uh, 10 uh, 10 top is 10 right you can uh, change it according to your project right so this plugin is uh, uh, pretty good right uh, personally I like this right uh, which is this one I will give you a link in a video description right so I want to show you uh, style.css of this file right so this is style.css let's close it and this is the style.css let's drag and drop it here right so it's a simple uh, CSS files which I will uh, write a code uh, to style my web page right so it's a position is relative minimum with uh, is 100 pixels right HTML and body is margin is 60 pixel right uh, like this and it's footer content right which is this one this one let's close it this one and uh, body and the container right it's padding is something 60 pixel top and bottom left and right is 50 15 pixel and footer dot container all the things is uh, 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 is pretty simple uh, I will give you a link uh, to download all the package of this project right in a video description so don't worry about that but the important thing is uh, just understand this sidebar when we scroll uh, it's uh, look pretty good right and this type of functionality I was seen uh, in a lots of websites so if you wanted to add it here your Google ad and you can put your uh, important content important links so people can directly interact when you scroll otherwise uh, if it's not like this uh, they will go scroll up and after that they can see this one right so this is important right and if you have any questions and doubt you can write a comment and if you like please subscribe to my channel so next part I will come with a new thing till then bye take care